yoga is i'm going to review a video called what i eat in a week on 75 hard by mia sayoko hello and welcome back to my channel i am mia sayoko and today this week we are filming a i can understand getting a tattoo if it looks really good but this is self-destruction it's abnormal. I started weight training a little under three years ago. So basically I wanted to challenge myself and try 75 hard, stick to a strict diet and just see what Weight training is dumb alone as it is, but when women do it, who don't even produce very much testosterone naturally, it's just uh, beyond that. What's the point of it when you're naturally not actually supposed to adapt to any kind of stress which requires strength, which is what uh, weight training is about i'm not a personal trainer i'm not a certified nutritionist i don't even have an associate's degree to anything i'm not qualified to give you any fitness or nutrition advice this is just an entertaining video to show you guys what i eat throughout my week on 75 hard in case you wanted some meal ideas or just for fun just for funsies let's just get right into sunday <laughs> <Sunday. laughs> all of these girls who go there with those kind of clothes only want one thing which is attention from men that's it. There's some other reason. And uh, the reason you tattoo your whole body like that is only for attention. That's it. It's only done because of trauma or insecurities, which is usually connected. Otherwise, you would just live your life. Isn't she gorgeous? Boy, she really needs attention. Did her parents not give her enough attention as a child? That could actually be the case. That's usually the case for people who are seeking attention so incredibly much. It's as if her whole existence revolves around attention from other human beings, which means that she's depressed. Because if you're not depressed, then you don't care what other people think about you. You don't care whatsoever. You just live your life. It's as far away from being happy as you possibly could be. Mm, delicious. Why skim milk? You need to eat a lot of animal fat, especially as a woman for your hormones to be fertile. Although uh, it probably wouldn't be a good idea for you to become a mother. What a vile combination. I'm disgusted. <laughs> Does she also have breast implants? It looks like she does. It's just crazy. It's just crazy, these people. I'm gonna make what I call my struggle meal to go into frozen white rice, a rotisserie chicken that I cut up, some corn. It gets worse. Beans. I love black beans. Load that bitch up. Why do you lie? If you love black beans, then eat them raw in their so-called natural state. <laughs> of course you don't, nobody does. We got some Havarti cheese and a foot scraper. Yes, I did buy this in the foot section. This is the secret sauce, absolute. The cheese was the best ingredient. Everything else is plant garbage from what I see. It's just sugar, fiber, anti-nutrients and pesticides. Literally the worst food you could eat. Le delectable. Isn't that the saddest thing ever? Three minutes to late. Got this. Your life seems to be like the saddest thing ever. My water. Having these pre-made protein drinks are a lifesaver. Non-fat Greek yogurt. I chop up little pieces of- What's with all of these non-fat yogurts? What's going on with you? Hey girl. Hey girl. You're trying to look good. Uh, that's like the least struggling struggling meal I've seen in a long time. I thought you struggled harder on it. <laughs> she has so much makeup on that you can't even see her real face. Who the hell knows how she looks like in reality? We have no idea. Good morning. Okay, she definitely has breast implants. The exercises that she does at the gym and then the way she films them and... Come on, you just have to be completely blind to not understand what's going on here. She's clearly insanely insecure and traumatized, which is why... Like I said, her whole life revolves around getting attention from people, which is why she's online doing all of that. It's just completely clear. You would just have to be completely delusional not to see that. The lineup, rice cake, PB2, fair life milk, Brazil nuts, brown cinnamon, and a little bit of honey. This is my post-workout pre-run snack. Isn't she beautiful? Just a fun little carb treat to get me going so I can have- A fun little carb treat? It's not fun though. Do you understand that rice cakes are full of arsenic? No, of course you don't. You're poisoning yourself. 
with one of the most potent poisons on earth. For real breakfast, I have a little meal prep that I made. Costco ham, two boiled eggs, and some Kodiak cake paint. Ham, why not eat real meat? She has eggs. Boiled eggs are pretty disgusting. You could also just eat eggs raw if those are good quality eggs. It's way easier, way tastier, just way better overall. And cakes. It is now time for lunch. Some white rice, some vegetables that I saute. More arsenic from the rice, vegetables which don't even exist in nature, they are pesticide ridden and uh, they have no micronutrients basically at all. The whole plate has nothing micronutrient wise. Vegetables and grains are the least nutritious foods on earth. It would be bad enough if that's what you would eat. It's just that they are also full of actual toxins. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't get any worse. Ate yesterday. I also have some teriyaki chicken that I made out of chicken breast. All right, but again, chicken breast doesn't have any fat. You're really lacking the animal fat, and it's visible because you don't have super much body fat yourself. It just doesn't matter really anyway because your whole body is destroyed. Who cares? Plating needs work, doesn't it? Pop some sesame seeds on. I didn't want to do a cooking segment on this yet just because I'm trying to perfect some recipes. I am so new to cooking. I'm trying to stick to a handful of recipes so that I can perfect them for a little midday snack. Imagine what her, I assume, Japanese ancestors would think about her. I assume that she's Japanese because of the name. Really, a lot of Asian populations probably, but the Japanese especially because they eat a lot of raw meat. They eat the most raw meat out of anybody on earth, which is why they have some of the longest lifespans on earth. And the other ones, the Spanish and the Hong Kongese, however you call them, the people from Hong Kong, they eat also a lot of meat, which is why their lifespans are so high. Of course, the Okinawans have the longest lifespan in Japan, but they don't see themselves as Japanese. In the first place, they were simply enslaved by the Japanese. They eat mostly pork, cook everything in lard, and then eat some raw goat meat, raw fish. They eat over 95% meat and animal fat. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what to say. She's just, uh, it just says everything. Good morning. I just got back from the gym. I did a leg day and I did some abs and I ate a little meat stick because I was starving. Gorgeous. Again, more rice cakes. Your tattoos are most likely made with toxic ink. And then you eat arsenic every day from what it seems like. I just don't know how much worse it could get. I had a stranger compliment my back yesterday. No. Yeah, he was for sure looking at your back. Definitely, yes. Is she actually that delusional? I can't even tell. Maybe she is. Okay, let's run. Run is good. At least go out and run in nature. Running in itself is stupid enough. You're just reducing your lifespan and stressing your body for no reason at all. Plus you're destroying your joints. But then running inside of a building is even worse. For lunch, I went to Kazunori and I started off with a salmon hand roll. Then I ordered some... Sashimi. By far the best meal, obviously. Needless to say, she's actually eating raw meat. And that's what I meant. Japanese people eat raw meat. They eat raw fish, which they are known for, but they also eat... Raw beef, raw chicken, you can buy it in restaurants. They eat raw shark hearts. They eat a lot of raw meat. It's just amazing. Jimmy plates just for some good sources of protein. And, tops of and those are actually good sources of protein. The only good sources you've had so far. Off with one more salmon hand roll. Protein much, uh, tons of caffeine, tons of stress in the body, and then she goes and does nothing on the laptop. What? <laughs> Pumped full of uh, caffeine. So I got back from lunch, took my dog for a walk, and now I'm hungry for dinner. Look at this bitch. Hello? Do you mean yourself? Oh, okay. Dinner is served. I'm eating the giant- All right, she also gets some chicken fat. Um, it's still very little fat overall. And again, you have arsenic with the meat and some useless vegetables which don't exist in nature and more kimchi. Kimchi can be all right if it's not super spicy, but the way they make it in uh, the West, I assume that she lives in the US or somewhere, it's just garbage. Are those soybeans? Soybeans have phytoestrogens. 
the phytoestrogens bind to the cell receptors of real estrogen, which means that you won't be able to use real estrogen anymore. People who consume soy milk or soy in large quantities will have serious issues, especially women. More arsenic and then avocado, which is really meaningless. Avocados don't have over 15 micronutrients. No point to eat them. But I'll be practicing that because that is the recipe on my Pinterest board and it looked... How old is she? I'm gonna guess... 38. Yeah, she looks 38. F*** me a What the f***? 29. Is that for real? No, right? How can she be 29? <laughs> oh my god. Is it all of the working out? She doesn't look like she's in her 20s whatsoever. Late 30s. That's what I saw throughout the whole video. Crazy how people are destroying themselves. For dinner, we got sushi yet again with Jake and Tracy. We started off with an edamame, which is a great source of protein, by the way. I had one. No, not at all. What do you mean? It's not even digestible. <laughs> one piece of their sushi and then to have some clean proteins. I Sashimi. That's what you should be eating a lot of. I'm glad to see at least some of that. You hardly ever see people eating raw meat anymore today, especially in these what I eat in a day videos or what I eat in a week. But um, the Japanese still do it. And seeing as she has Japanese ancestry, I assume that uh, she just somehow got into it because of her family. I don't know anything about her. I just ordered one gigantic sashimi platter, which I ended up sharing with them as well. Very, very good. Very good. But again, you go to the gym afterwards the next day. <laughs> you just go to the gym way too often. What's the point of it? You're 29. You look like you're essentially 39. You look like you're almost hitting your 40s. You're probably infertile, realistically. Your body is incredibly toxic, most likely because of the tattoos. I can assume that it's pretty toxic ink. And your diet is loaded with toxins and anti-nutrients. That's why you look so terrible for your age. Oh my god, do you not understand that you're seriously gonna get sick with all of that arsenic? <laughs> Why do people not look up what's inside rice before eating it? Why do people just blindly eat like slaves? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <gasps> It'll be so I can already see her lying in a hospital bed regretting all of her life choices to be a bartender look at this man great you have a dog that's what all of you slaves do today you get dogs instead of having children because you're too brainwashed depressed or infertile to have them <laughs> how is that something that you should be showing off you should be hiding the dog you should not let anybody see the dog because then they will see that you failed at life oh oops she looks, oh, oops. I can't even look at these freaking meals anymore. When is this video going to end? So I got most of the protein and rice separated. I'm gonna add a little bit more rice back in. Plain Greek yogurt. Shut your f***ing mouth. I can't even like listen to you anymore. <laughs> oh my god. You're just so super cringy. This is one of the worst videos I've ever seen. Why are you such a b literally <laughs> So that was my week of meals. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you haven't already subscribed, please How could anybody on earth find this enjoyable? All that you did was eat a bunch of grains and vegetables for the most part, which nobody on earth wants to eat. People are simply brainwashed to eat it. Huge difference. And uh you lifted man-made metal and showed off your body non-stop to everybody at the gym and to all of your viewers just to get attention because you're traumatized and insecure. It was painful. It's as if you're watching somebody with some kind of a mental illness. If you enjoy watching somebody suffering and being in constant pain, somebody who needs validation on stuff, then I guess that it would be enjoyable. But then there's something wrong with you. If you actually in some way enjoy this video, 
I almost died, really. I'm not even joking. Please do so. Follow me on all my social media down below. Mm -hmm. Even that one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. The strand of women lifting man-made metal is just way worse than men doing it because men already look like clowns when they do it. <laughs> but uh, when women do it, it's just a whole different level. Who got them into this? Who made women believe that they should go to a gym, a building full of slaves, to lift man-made metal for no reason whatsoever, except to make themselves infertile, to age their skin, and to reduce their lifespans, which is literally all that you get out of a gym. Absolutely nothing else. <laughs> uh, I'm really not joking when I say that this was one of the most painful videos. I've ever watched so incredibly much pain, which you can see in her eyes. She's radiating trauma, insecurity and pain nonstop throughout the whole video, which is why she keeps posing for everybody in real life and for her viewers. It's just as far away from a natural woman that you can get. There's just nothing in any way feminine about her. <laughs> nothing at all. I just saw nothing. Her whole body is fake. You can't even see her skin, which is her organ properly because of the tattoos. <laughs> Imagine that you look at the human being and you can't even see the surface organ, which everybody is supposed to see to be able to judge how healthy somebody is. And uh, about the neck, She's full of makeup, which means that you can't even see the skin on her face. <laughs> How much more fake can you even get as a human being? And then she acts throughout the whole video. Her body is fake and her whole character is completely fake. How can you even spend time with somebody like that in real life? I wouldn't be able to stand it for even a few minutes. I would just have to leave. Obviously, if you eat so much garbage and pump yourself full of toxins, then you're going to be biochemically sick. It's going to make you literally depressed. What you saw in this video is a very biochemically sick human being. Thanks for watching.